Dear sisters and brothers, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today and forever, continues to communicate with us through his word in sacred scripture and by means of the sacraments of salvation and through the promptings of his Holy Spirit. This communication and our response enables us to develop our relationship with Jesus Christ, the unique saviour of the world. And despite today's noisy culture of mobile phones, tweets, Facebook, of roads clogged with traffic and a more secular context all over, God continues to call us into relationship with him and with one another. How do we then make space for God? In Australia, consumerism is very high and technologically we're very advanced. And this can often prevent us finding the space and indeed the silence that we need to reflect on our lives and to discern our way with Christian integrity. And it's in this context that we've prepared some resources for you in our Catholic parishes and Catholic schools across Australia to help you to pray and reflect on the Pope's 46th World Communication Day on the weekend of the 13th of May 2012. In an extremely welcoming message this year, the Holy Father has released a letter called Silence and Word, Path of Evangelization. This focuses on the gift of silence to allow the most important words, those of the Word made flesh, to enter into our hearts. Benedict says, silence is an integral element of communication. And in its absence, words rich in content cannot exist. In silence, he said, we're better able to listen to and to understand ourselves. Ideas come to birth and acquire depth, and we understand with greater clarity what it is we want to say and what we expect from others, and we choose how to express ourselves. By remaining silent, we allow the other person to speak, to express him or herself, and we avoid being tied simply to our own words and ideas without them being adequately tested. In this way, space is created for mutual listening and for deeper human relationships that can then become possible. So we might pray that together we might treasure moments of silence in our own lives so that we can really listen to one another in conversation, but above all, to listen carefully to the life-giving, important communication from our Lord Jesus Christ in the New Testament. God bless you.